Hi, welcome back to another episode of the School Counseling Technology Series on The Counseling Geek. Uh, my name is Jeff. I'll be walking you through today. I'm excited to bring you uh, kind of an in-depth tutorial on uh, Google Drive or uh, more commonly termed uh, Google Docs, which is Google's uh, kind of solution to Microsoft Office, Word, um, PowerPoint, etc. Um, that's hosted in the cloud. Uh, we'll kind of get into that in just a second. So here's a, a Google Docs. This is what you'll you'll log in and see when you first start. Um, I created my own folder, but it'll be pretty much empty when you first get in here. Um, Google has a pretty common setup for most of their services, um, and they're pretty they're updating it pretty regularly. So just be aware of that in case stuff changes around or you know you're not familiar with what you log in and see uh, from one time to another. Um, so so Google Docs it's a it's a cloud based Office software program, um, and when I mention cloud, cloud is uh, a method of storing data. Um, so it's not on your actual computer; it's actually hosted by Google in data centers across the United States or around the world. Um, so uh, it's a little less secure, but for the most part, it's generally as secure as your email or anything else like that. Uh, the great thing about that is you can uh, store things and access them from anywhere. Uh, from any computer, all you have to do is lo be able to log into your email or your Gmail account um, to be able to do that. So it makes it really uh, useful, really accessible, and it's also really collaborative, and we'll talk about that. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I have a couple tutorials that we're going to walk through. Uh, hopefully it'll take less than 15 minutes, the limit we have for YouTube. Uh, but if not, this will probably be a two-parter, because um, I have a few more things I want to share other than this. So let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and opened this up prior to starting the video, um, but to open them, you would just cl simply click. Uh, if you're starting something new, you would click Create, and you'll see when I click Create, it brings up an open uh, menu that you can select what type of document, presentation, spreadsheet, etc., that you'd like to create. Um, when you do that, it opens up something that looks like this. I opened up the, this is the document. Um, so we'll just kind of look at what we have going on here. Uh, you know, it's very similar to your Microsoft Word um, type format. Uh, the, the kind of the top's a little different, but anything you do in here is going to look similar, if not the same, as your Microsoft Word. Um, up here we have, uh, we're going to start up here on the left, and we're kind of work our way across the screen and down, just so we kind of get familiar with it and um, go from there. So on the top left, I have this written down too, in case you're, you're curious and want to follow along without listening to me talk. Um, we have a, uh, our title, so you can click on that and you can change your title to whatever you like it to be, something that's familiar. Um, one powerful thing, if you have a lot of documents, you can search for terms and it'll come up with similar terms. So make sure you label it something that you would like it to uh, be able to search for. Um, next to that is a star, which basically just highlights your document so it's easier to see when you're just quickly scanning what you have. And then folders you can organize you know, by you know, personal social or academic counseling, um, data you know, information, that type of thing. So just uh, it helps you keep organized. Uh, let's see. We talked about the star icon. Um, and then underneath that we have a, uh, a menu very similar to what you see in, in any, you know, software. Uh, you have a file, an edit, a view, etc. Um, you know, it's very uh, pretty user-friendly. And um, there are a few things. Everything in here is going to be pretty much what you expect them to be. Um, there are a few things I'd like to call out though. You can download stuff. Um, so if you create a Google Doc, you can download it in a Word document format. Note this is not DocX, which is the 2007 to 2010 version of Word or later. Um, this is the older version of Word, so you might get a compatibility error if you open it in a newer version of Word. Um, OpenOffice, kind of the same stuff, the free version of Word, or PDF or text file. Okay, So it's very, very uh, uh, it's got a wide range of applications. You can publish it to the web, which uh, will open up something like this, and it'll give you uh, options to start publishing, which will probably give you a link or some embedding code, which um, lets you put it on a website, that type of thing. Uh, you can also uh, email your collaborators. Collaborate. Collaborators, sorry. Uh, and that's, that's probably one of the most useful things that Google Docs provides, is the ability to share documents, um, edit them on the fly, uh, you can, you know, one of the biggest things that I use it for is helping 
maintain contact with teachers and providing them with the ability to um, kind of do their own work for things that I was asking them to do. Um, for example, I, want, I wanted them to create a, kind of a tracking sheet and instead of having them report to me and me entering all the data, they were able to streamline the process and do that themselves. So it takes kind of the middleman out of the way, takes a little bit off your plate and gives the teachers a little bit more um, input in the process. So that's very interesting. All you have to do is enter links or you can share this link with people. Okay, um, very useful. Uh, what's next? We're down here. Um, there's no save button. Very key too. Uh, we are constantly getting our edits changed. So anytime, so I'll say, uh, I'll type this in the counseling geek. And as you see at the top, it's, it's saying saving, saving. And then once it's saved, it says all changes saved. So anything that you edit will be saved automatically. You can go back, there are revisions, enough that's one of the part of the things in the file. Um, you can see, see revision history, so if someone else changes something and you don't like it, you can see what they changed, when they changed it, etc. Um, so that's, that's one thing that's really important. Uh, the kind of one caveat to that is, if you don't have internet access or if you're working on something and internet goes out, anything you do will not be saved until you have internet access again. So it's very important to make sure that you either make backups or you copy and paste to something else just in case, um, you know, if, if you think something might happen to your internet, I mean, most of the time it's not going to matter, but just be aware that if you do lose your internet, you may lose some of your work. Um, so it's very similar to kind of saving in Word. You don't want your computer to die and lose all what you do. Um, over here on the top, we're kind of moving across all the way over here um, to the comments and share button. These are super huge aspects of Google Docs. And you'll see this, this header is pretty similar across all forms that you're going to be using or presentations. Um, so this is how you will interact and include your people that you're collaborating with, whether it be uh, other counselors, teachers, parents, staff members at school, or even the students themselves, um, they'll be able to, you can share with whoever you like. It's really open, really free flowing. Um, so the comment works, or the comment button works to interact with, uh, in non real time. So um, you can get on here and see, for example, I com commented earlier um, when I was preparing this document, um, and then you can see this and then uh, click on things to, to comment or resolve. Um, and you know, it just, it just adds things. So say, for example, I said, Oh, change this to this. You can comment on that and they can do that. Or if they had a question, etc. Um, another cool thing that I can't really demonstrate cause I don't have access to two different computers right now, um, is if someone else logs in, so say you say you share it with somebody and they log in, um, there'll be a little box up here, kind of where my mouse is that shows, Oh, it says user anonymous user or if they're logged in via the Gmail to say who they are, but it opens up a little interaction box where you can real time chat with them um, if they have questions or stuff like that. So just be aware of that too. If you see something pop up, that's why someone else is viewing your document as you are. Um, and the share button. This is my favorite. Uh, you can share your document, like I mentioned, in, with a link so people will be able to see it or you can uh, have access. You can also um, change the uh, permissions types. So some people, you can change it from like uh, view only so they'll be able to open it but not edit it, edit it and share it. So um, just be careful with the, what you want to do because if you share it with someone that you don't want to edit but you give them editing power, um, it can create some problems if they decide that they don't want to be very nice and delete all your stuff or change it, whatever. Um, so just be careful with that, just be aware. Um, pretty powerful settings there. Um, let's see, where did my research, there we go. Um, this research pane, um, it was underneath uh, the tools button, um, but it opens up and it's pretty pretty uh, powerful too. It lets users search the web for news or articles in Google Scholar, um, quotes, or just a general web search down here. And uh, like if I, if I look up counselors, it pops up different web results, um, different articles, that type of thing. Uh, so I can also do good counselors. And it'll cite it, everything. So it's pretty powerful. It's a really good tool for your students if you want to share that with them. Um, it's spell check. See how I misspelled this? You can right click and it'll give you options um, to re, to re uh, correct it. And so just, just look at that. It's very powerful. Um, also, just kind of wrapping this up, I'll kind of touch it later in another blog post about 
some different tools and resources that we can use using this, but this is kind of just to get, get you familiar with it um, so you can start playing around with it, uh, getting things, you know, getting oriented, that, that type of thing. Um, like I said in the beginning, Google, Google is working uh, quite a bit on their Google Docs or Google Drive um, programs. So there might be some changes coming up there recently in the last six months or so. There's a major user interface or UI um, update which changed how this looked completely. Um, a couple blog posts ago when I talked about Google Docs again, I posted a picture and that was the old UI. Um, this is the new one. It's very white, um, very streamlined. Uh, so it's 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 new and it takes a little getting used to, but if you're just starting, it, I feel like it does provide a, a much slimmer, um, easier to use program. Um, so just be aware that if stuff changes, you know, just have to kind of roll with the punches if you don't like it. Um, so that's kind of the, the, the word aspect of Google Docs. Um, you can continue to look at help. Is a, they have great features in the help center, so you can utilize that. Um, the presentation, I just moved over another tab that I opened from here, this presentation. Um, very similar, simple, easy to use. Um, you're able to add slides, different, different bodies. Um, there's different formats up here, kind of the same setup as our Word, so I'm not going to kind of go through that. Um, but it's, it is about using the PowerPoint and the tab. So you can see these different uh, slides I created just to kind of give you, give you an example. Um, when we open a new window, um, we can, you know, when we start this presentation up here, we'll have the option to move our slide forward by clicking, or you, I'm pretty sure, I haven't tried it yet, um, using a presentation remote, I'm probably 95% sure that you can um, advance and go back and stop your PowerPoint or your uh, Google Docs presentation using a remote. Um, you can insert shapes, flowcharts, it's pretty simple links that you can access when you open up your, your uh, PowerPoint. Um, it's very similar to PowerPoint, we talked about that. Um, you know, you're going to have different slides, you're going to be able to put your backgrounds, headers, titles, etc. Um, and then there's there's animations and transitions, that type of thing. It's very simple to use. Um, just takes a little bit of practice, so just get used to it. I, I have a lot of practice with PowerPoint. This is I quickly threw this together. Um, so let me just show you what it looks like when I say start presentation. You can also start a uh, presentation with speaker notes, which are down here at the very bottom, um, which opens another kind of window. It really helps if you have two monitors. Um, but it, it's super helpful. And then, so if I click start presentation, it probably went off your screen, but it opens up this new kind of browser window, which once it goes, takes a little bit, just give it one second, it'll open up a new presentation, which you can maximize, and then I'll do that right now. And then down here, you can see kind of where you're at. Um, and you can just go to the next one, a little fancy animations, just to gener uh, give you an example and you just keep on going and that kind of thing. So that's it. Um, so then when you're done, you just close it. Um, and then down here, it's also a full screen. So it's it's not kind of in this ugly box. Um, so that's that. You can share exactly the same sharing and commenting areas as you can in the Word. Very powerful. Um, so that's pretty much it. There, there's tools up here that you can explore, uh, pictures and shapes and lines and that type of thing. Um, so look at that and see what you can do. Saves automatically like always um, and you can comment and stuff over here on different things so if you like I commented on that take this what we got now you can mess around with any of this you will need a Google uh, account to start um, so open that Google has the best stuff available so um, just go ahead and try that and see what happens um, you're not gonna hurt anything by try by messing around um, so you can always, if you want want to try sharing, you can always share with me, thecounselinggeek at gmail.com, and uh, I'll uh, take a look at it and you know give you feedback, help you out, that type of thing. Shoot me an email, follow me on Twitter, um, tweet me, Google Plus me if you have any questions, um, comment on the, uh, the blogs um, if you want to know more or uh, have any specifics you'd like to know about. Other than that, uh, hopefully you have a, a good week, and uh, you know remember we're in this for the students. Take care. 